Hi guys, how are you? Um, I'm sorry for my messy look. Um, well, it's, it's a very random video, but um, I just want to reach out. Uh, I just want to say, like, um, I'm sorry if I'm not uploading videos lately. Um, kasi, um, there's something, you know, happened na just thought of, um, filming a video like this, telling you why I'm not uploading lately. Um, okay, so, so, yes, um, lately, the reason na hindi ako nag, uh, ano, nag, um, upload is, I'm just sad. And, if you're following me on Instagram, hindi din ako nag-upload. I don't upload pictures on Instagram. And, um, if you're following me on Facebook, yes, I don't upload anything on Facebook. Um, and I don't upload vlogs. I don't know why. I don't know why. But um, I'm very, very affected with the death of Kobe Bryant. I'm not gonna pretend that I'm a basketball fan, that I know him. No. To tell you honestly, guys. I have no idea about basketball anything at all. I don't know where he where he what about his team. I don't know where I don't know. I just know his name. I mean who doesn't? Who doesn't know him? Um I'm just like sad because um, I realized so many things after that I'm I'm no related at all as I've said I'm no related at all um actually some facts about me I mean about my family is that I have two um basketball players siblings and they both they both graduated as um as a athlete scholar or how do you say that scholar athlete something like that i'm sorry if i didn't know the right word um they both graduated and um one of them um is mia and the other is ian um Ian really loves um, Kobe Bryant. I mean, he's really a fan. Like, his number, which I knew, which uh, these past few days, as, uh, as I've said, they're both... Um, I've watched him train, but I haven't watched him... Uh, I have, I've, I've watched Mia play a uh, train when I went back to the Philippines, I guess, like... 2012 I just once I went to his school and watch him train training early in the morning but I never seen him playing basketball because um wala akong time because I I am here in Japan and he's uh, in the Philippines so I don't really go back to the Philippines because of my job so I haven't seen him playing basketball with I with Ian, I I've seen him playing basketball, but never his trained. But he never his training. What that's the, the I mean, not his training, but I've seen him playing. Once after I gave birth to Destiny, because I've stayed I stayed in the Philippines for a year. But even so, wala akong idea, wala akong idea about basketball. I don't know that positions like 
whatever i don't understand i just went then there to, to watch it's not that i am not i am not um interested or anything it's just like um i'm not that interested too much to know everything that wants to know about it well it has a history but anyway um let's not talk about it now what i'm trying to say is that despite the fact na yung kapatid ko is basketball player just like a bryant but hindi ko siya kilala as that i think he's more than a basketball player for me i think of him as a father and as a parent I cannot imagine that tragic event of his life and the other people who was with him who was with them and it's just so sad tell you honestly guys call I mean Call me whatever like insane or if it seems it sounds absurd or whatever but tell you so honestly i don't browse facebook or i don't brow uh, or instagram because i am scared i'm not emotionally ready to see any posts about him don't ask me the reason why because i really don't know but it's i'm so sad just thinking of the way how he died is i cringed <clears throat> like sometimes guys to tell you honestly <laughs> to tell you very honestly i shout here mm, as a parent guys I cannot imagine myself <coughs> I cannot imagine myself dying with my child I'm just thinking about him I'm just thinking about it how did he comfort her daughter did he say don't worry everything's gonna be okay or he or did he just embrace him so tight or did he just ha, i don't know i cannot imagine and the other parents that you know they were there both of them they were there dying with their child how can you imagine that paano mo paano mo kakayanin yung ganun I mean today guys we went out for um actually today it was Destiny's um vaccination and she got three shots first she cried like the normal cry and then second shot she cried more than usual and then the third sumigaw siya she shouted like i just saw her throat her, her baby throat she, she was crying so hard like um I wanted to stop the doctor from, you know, although I know it's her, it's for her, it's for her own sake. Um, what I'm trying to say is that it hurts destiny so much, although it's for her, right? Para sa kanya yun. to for her to be strong 
strong body against diseases and but um kahit para sa kanya yun hindi ko siya kaya magkita ng saktan yung parang sigaw siya ng sigaw na yung ako na lang and we were there the doctor asked me to be there I mean we have a 11 p.m. schedule pero um I'm sorry guys pero we were there one hour I mean more than an hour they waited us for an hour kasi since Destiny was born in the Philippines medyo marami na din siya na inject na parang kasi diba um, iba yata yung term na ginagamit nila uh, although I have the Destiny's baby baby's book pero parang um, nahihirapan yung Japanese doctor na intindihin yung mga na inject na sa kanya which is um it took them it took time for them to ano to to be sure about what what are the 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 right the right shots that should be given to destiny so they take they took time about it for that which i already gave them um two weeks early two weeks before pero parang they were busy in a Uh, hindi nila na 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 fixed lahat because they, the 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 terms that they're using is somewhat different for some reason I don't know but anyway it's their business so I didn't really dig into it but we were there and Destiny was so hungry and she wants to drink but I was asked that not to feed her before the injection so You know, she was throwing tantrums and she was sleepy and she's trying to, she was grabbing my shirt. I know what she wants, but I couldn't give her. I know, th those baby sacrifices that she has to went through, hindi ko siya, hindi ko siya kayang tingnan sa ganong situation. Now, what I'm saying is that, what I want, what I want, what I want, what I really want to say is that, In the you know simple thing things that hindi ko kaya like how how could you face how paano paano mo tatanggap yun like what did Kobe Bryant feel looking at her child dying hindi ko ma-imagine hindi ko ma-imagine pasensya na kayo ha pasensya na kayo na parang emotional ako para if if this video gives you a bad vibe pero alam mo yun we're all human we have the same feelings sikat ka man o sino ka man dyan o sino kung ano man yung status mo sa buhay kung ano ka ba kung anong pinanggalingan mo anong race mo it, it doesn't matter for me We're all human. But uh, as a as a parent, I cannot I can't see my daughter, my son, my siblings. I can't my friends. I can't imagine seeing them dying. I can't imagine, especially dying with them. How can you? I can't imagine that. Grave, mano. Para ano? Para ano sa kit? And about dun sa mama, sa asawa niya yung um which later ko lam din. I found out the name because you know after this thing. I mean. As a wife and as a mother, you know, 
paano mo haharapin yung ganun? Although, oo, nandun, nandun pa yung mga anak mo. Pero hindi mo naman sasabihin na, okay lang, kasi nandito naman sila. You can't just say that, that it's okay because I'm still have... No. That's your son. I mean, that's your child. That's your husband. I mean, I mean like, you know, I hope, I really pray for her that God will give her, you know, strength. There are other kids and the baby, the newborn baby. He, he will never remember anything. Story, yes. He will see pictures. He will know someday how good, how how father his father was I don't know if he's a, the baby is a girl or a boy but he will never know how her father was because it's just a baby she will never remember anything that that really makes me sad guys actually after I heard that news I told uh, Mia he was tired, uh, he was sleeping, so I messaged, I messaged him and I sent him the news link and he was, he told me that he was out of his mind the whole day and then after his class he called me and yeah, he cried. We are not related at all, but you know, the pain, the, the pain, and you know what? Um, I have a sister that I haven't talked for a uh, for years now. Kasi, um, you know, I don't know if you will understand me, but as an eldest, and uh, as an eldest, you have no other wish, you have no other hopes for your siblings sister but to be better right you will uh, assist them you will protect them you'll take care of them and sometimes you you protect them so much that you sometimes doubt if they can really take care of themselves alam mo yung takot ka na baka may mangyari sa kanila so as much as possible you are trying to guide them pero sometimes we get we go through so many things in life na although you know na you're not alone or you have family with you but because of that strong emotion kung ano man yung pinagdadaanan mo you sometimes forget you sometimes forget that you have family with you and and Sometimes you feel alone not because nobody nobody is with is with you or nobody's listening you or nobody cares you. You feel alone because the person that you want to be with you is not with you. I think that's when you feel alone. Because I don't think that out of 10, 10 members of your family, one or your 20, out of 
to one of her 20 friends or acquaintances or whatever I don't think that no no one will ever there to help or to listen to you I think there should be at least one or two all you have to do is to reach out right pero hindi sila yung gusto mo to be with you there's a certain person na gusto mo kasama mo there's a certain person that gusto mo na siya yung nakikinig sa'yo there's a certain person that Ay, okay. gusto mong makasama, pero hindi mo siya kasama. So, that's, that's, that, that is when you start to feel alone and lahat ng concern na binibigay sa'yo, lahat ng love na pinapakita sa'yo, hindi mo siya makita. Na love, hindi mo mapansin na love. It's not because you don't want to take it, but because you, it's not and this hindi mo siya napapansin for me but sa iba there's a certain person that's what I'm saying so that's what happened with my sister um she lives in Davao um hindi kami nag-usap hindi ko siya kinausap kasi that's what happened to us kahit anong love na binigay ko, kahit anong support na binigay ko, parang kulang. Alam mo yung, binigay mo na lahat, sinagripisyo mo na lahat, tapos, parang, hindi nila, hindi ka na, bin, hindi ka na appreciate hindi mo nararamdaman na na importante ka na kailangan ka ng kapatid mo alam mo yun so what happened actually this is the second time well the first time na nangyari yun was she, she was just only a teenager noon and I am already here in Japan then something came up which um later on we were able to fix it i i grown up i that time okay it's been um it was 2012 that was the first na nangyari sa amin yun but um um tinanggap ko lahat after three years three years natanggap ko din okay na and then again nangyari na naman ulit so parang ikaw wala ka nang mabibigay kasi ubos ka na and um, hindi lang din siya yung kapatid ko so parang hindi ko pwedeng i-focus lahat yung attention ko sa kanya kasi marami naman akong kapatid marami pa akong I mean the obligation is too much for me to, you know, to just focus on one thing. Parang, naisip ko doon na I have to, ano, I have to sort out my priority. So, um, it was 2015, turning 2016, I guess. Um, something so bad came up na nangyari na naman and that's when the time ga, the time na sabi ko sa sarili ko hindi ko alam hindi ko na alam kung anong gagawin ko um, alam mo yung wala na yung you know yourself, you know, you know, you, you know to yourself na you're, you're, you're in the end of the bridge na. Ngayon, 
one step forward, you're gonna fall. But I chose to step backward for the sake of my other, my other siblings, for the sake of my other family. But when I stepped backward, parang I realized something. I realized something that it's so hard to help people when they don't know if they needed it because they're they're in they're fighting with their own demons they're figuring themselves and while figuring themselves me as a sister teaching her giving her advice guiding her seems like naging barrier ako to something so i realized that i think i'm not helping my intention was all good my intention was all for her for her kids but i mean i was in a bad timing that's what I realized. She's figuring out herself and she doesn't know what she wants in her life yet. How the hell would I know? Who am I to know everything about her? my intention are all good. But how would I know what it is she's going through? I see things, but I'm not her. The best, the most important thing that I learned is that sometimes the best way to help your child, your, in my situation this time, the best way to help my sister Is not to help her that's what I figured out that time it was late 2015 or early 2016 I don't um, really, really remember the date but it's, I think that time the timing I guess and she told me that she will do it and um, unfortunately even though I tried to give everything to understand her but my emotion alam mo yung worry yung lahat as an eldest as a as as a big sister nandun so it was not really a healthy um a good way we, we didn't we didn't know we never figured out the way to do it well you know we were both young i mean the my alam mo yung hindi pa ganun hindi pa ganun kama sure in thinking mo you're still in the process of, you know, paano ko ba to intindihin? And paano ko ba to gagawin? Like that. You don't know how to handle things. So even though yung, um, some things were, were, um, we talked, um, nicely, we agreed mutually, yung decision niya, na siya muna mag-decide siya na muna, bahala na muna siya sa buhay niya ganun na, pag, ganun na nangyari but you know it's always it's not you don't you don't send your sister like okay take care of yourself and 
have a good life like that. I couldn't do that because I want her with us. I want her with me. I want her I want to to protect her and her children. So yung emotion na yun hindi ko siya hindi ko siya na control every day lagi akong nag-aalala sa kanila so parang to set myself from that situation hindi ako nagparamdam mo na sa kanya like personally uh, may mga bagay na gusto kong sabihin dinadaan ko lang na lang muna sa kapatid ko kasi ang hirap nahirapan ako sa big situation ko talaga as their sister kasi I'm not just like basta maybe next time I will tell you everything but for now this would you know ito lang muna yung musta share ko so ngayon nga um 2020 na ngayon diba so parang it took years again for us and I'm just happy because she bounced back. She finally found herself. She finally moved on with her life. And she finally accepted the reality that the, the you know, yung long niya, the person that she wants to be with is seems impossible at the end but i'm happy that personally siya yung nakapag, nakapag figure out finally it, it was her not by any force or from anyone but it's her will it's her decision I mean, maybe she stumbled into something or she figured out something by herself. And she realized that she has to move on and she has to get through, you know, her life for her kids, for her own life. She's still young. And that's what she did. Now, I am so happy because... She's living in an apartment with her two kids and now um, she's doing well with her career as a as a trainer of a company and uh, yun nga, um, yesterday um, first time namin mag video call and um and i'm just happy um last week we talked at first it was just a chat all together as siblings and then for the first time last yesterday we talked over the phone video call and it you know parang walang nangyari Hi, I'm back and I'm sorry. I just had to take care of Destiny and it took me a while to come back. So guys, um, I'm sorry for my I talk a lot. I know I don't I don't need to pretend that I'm always fine because I am I am a normal human being. Kaya, kaya I just feel like I'm sharing it with you. I know it's hard to forgive, forget many things. Ano may nangyari to you? You know, it's hard. I know, I know, but I'm telling you, I know really how it feels. But just forgive, guys. Just forgive. Although it doesn't have to reconnect, but just forgive. Life is too short. Forgive.
forgive. Kwa na mana mana. You know, pwede pang i-repair yung situation, yung relationship, pwede pang salvage, pwede pang i-save. Please do it. You don't know what tomorrow comes. I'm just happy that I'm okay with my sister and I'm doing well with my other sister. Oh, we, you know, I'm just happy with everything right now. Okay na kami lahat. Parang wala nangyari. After nag-usap na kami sa phone, parang, parang wala namang nangyari. Alam mo yung, nandun pa rin yung love. Kahit matagal na usap, nandun pa rin. So, just forgive guys. Huwag pwede pang save yung relationship. To those relationship na hindi pwede, just, just move on. I mean, for me, Forgiving doesn't mean to reconnect. Forgive for your own peace. Sometimes, even if you don't say sorry, just forgive them. You have to free yourself from, you know, from heartaches or from. Don't hold grudges, I mean. For me, parang kinakulong mo yung. Kinukulong mo lang yung sarili mo eh, to be really happy. No, don't punish yourself. You've been hurt already. Don't hurt yourself more. Based from my own experience. I talked a lot. Ang dami ko yung sinabi. So, um, you know, I just thank you. And I hope that you don't find this video boring because you know everything that i've said from the start is you know it's from my heart well i promise to post a video a happy video tomorrow <sighs> this is the reason that you know i don't want to pretend guys i'm not active anything lately I'm sad. I'm so much affected with the death of Kobe Bryant. I, for there's for some reason I don't know why. I'm just you know it's just but um it makes me think about life. It makes me think about more more about life. I it makes me feel like I have to reevaluate my life. <laughs> yeah, this would be all, guys. And thank you for giving time to listen, watch me. Thank you and I hope you have a good day, good night, good life. Always remember that love yourself, love your children, love your mother. Love your father, love your sister, love your brother, love everyone. Everyone that loves you. Well, even the ones that doesn't, as I've said. Love your neighbors. That God, that's what God said. I just forget what the, the verse, or the, the chapter one. <laughs> the, it's a biblical verse, right? That love to love your neighbors. I don't know what comes after that. But um if you have that until now my chance pataya to kiss them, hug them and tell them I love you. Let's do it. Before Mahuliang Lahan. Right? So I'm wishing you all I'm wishing us all a good life ahead, a good day new day tomorrow so thank you guys and good night bye take a moment right here feeling like a sub gear driving towards the sun with a rose and a gun feel the wind in my head